Let's get salty! Hearthstone has been around for what feels like forever. It launched all the way back in 2014 and has seen countless expansions, adventures, nerfs, buffs, keywords, card types, all of it have been added to the game. Every one of these changes have impacted the game in some way, some for the good, some for the bad. For every amazing expansion like Journey into Angoro, which captured the imagination of players across the world, we've had expansions that were relatively disappointing, like Rostikun's Rumble that just didn't quite get there. Sometimes a nerf can absolutely kill a card, like a War Song Commander, but then sometimes a buff can come along and break the game like a five mana Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Even sometimes an adventure can come out of nowhere like League of Explorers and bring on a brand new metagame by introducing cards like Reno Jackson and the entire League of Explorers. But it's not very often where one card can change the entire game in just one day. On June 27th of this year, 2022, the latest Hearthstone expansion, Murder at Castle Nathria, was announced. Everyone was hyped up, knowing that a new card type was going to be announced. And lo and behold, it was. Locations were unveiled to the world, which will allow players to play them on the board like a minion but use them to enhance other minions on the board. Similar to mechanics seen in other card games such as Magic the Gathering with Planeswalkers. As of recording this video though, uh, they haven't all been revealed yet and none of them are currently in the game. So this isn't actually the card we are talking about today. And you probably know what I'm going to be talking about next. On the same day as this expansion reveal, a brand new legendary minion was given to every Hearthstone player for free, Prince Renathal. This three mana neutral legendary, if three foreign stats, nothing particularly daunting. However, it has the unique ability to allow any class in the game to put this in their starting deck and not only do you put this in your starting deck, it changes the entire rules of the game. Rather than having 30 health points to start the game and 30 cards to, well, put in your deck, all of a sudden, your deck starts with 40 cards and you have 40 health points, giving you 10 extra health compared to your opponent unless they're running this card. Since this has been introduced to the game, Hearthstone has not been the same since. You see this card talked about everywhere, on social media, on YouTube, every platform. It's all about 40 card decks and 40 HP. You've even seen Reddit threads about how Prince Renathal has basically saved their passion for Hearthstone. It has just been incredible what this card has done with people such as a salty content creator saying it's the best thing to happen to Hearthstone in years. Now when constructing your deck, you no longer think just the normal thing of, well, I'm gonna put 30 cards in my deck, what do I do? Now you need to think of even more things particular, well, do I want 40 health points? Is that an advantage to me? Should I run this card? Do I want 40 cards? Does the 40 HP matter for this? Or do I want to get more value? In under a week already, we have seen this card utilized in multiple manners that we pretty much hadn't seen before because, well, the card didn't exist. An example being Prestor Druid has emerged as a legit powerhouse in the standard format. It is a Druid deck that's rather aggressive that doesn't even even care that much about 40 health points. However, with the combination of cards like Guff and Lady Prestor, the insane number of random dragons you can generate has made this deck an absolute force to be reckoned with. Another deck in standard, also Druid, Alignment Druid, has had a problem for quite a while since uh, a couple of nerfs had hit it recently to survive the early game. All of a sudden, now you're given 40 HP and 40 cards in a deck of a ton of good value in card draw has created again a tier one meta player that has well led to some anger on social media again by a salty content creator that is asking for a certain card to be removed from the game. 
even in wild, where things are always out of control, broken, insane, ridiculous, where decks are tuned so finely that a deck like Quest Mage can kill you, a combo deck on turns 5 and 6 with infinite turns, or an aggro deck like a Pirate Rogue can kill you on turns 3 and 4. We are seeing Prince Renathal make an impact, in particular with like a class like Warlock that in wild has access to cards like Molten Giant and a lot of self-damaging effects that utilize their 40 health points better than any class could possibly do and it has resulted in multiple people getting high ranks with the deck already including even rank 1 legend and the card does seem to be beloved the card is not divisive take a look at a prior expansion united in stormwind a very divisive a very frustrating expansion for many the quest lines were introduced whether it was the demon seed the mage quest all these different quests that made the game feel the same it created a linear playstyle and you were kind of pigeonholed into running them because they're so powerful a card like Prince Renathal doesn't pigeonhole you in any way other than having to have 40 cards. It allows for players to get creative with their deck building, get creative with how they're going to utilize their 40 health points, how they're going to utilize their 40 cards, and as a result, it seems like it's gravitating to tons of different players, whether they like an aggressive deck like Prestor Druid, a control deck, and like a Holy Paladin that can heal up a bunch, or a combo deck, which you could effectively call an alignment druid to an extent. It can allow allow so many different things and this has resulted in player sentiment across the board to seem to really favor Prince Renathal. Of course there are the detractors, there are those that don't like the card. Having 40 health can make it very hard for certain aggressive archetypes to succeed. If Prince Renathal decks are very popular, it will become increasingly more difficult to kill your opponent quickly, which some players will find frustrating. But overall, the sentiment again has been extremely positive and it's just incredible to see how one card one card introduced into the game of hearthstone can just change the game overnight hearthstone will never be the same again with prince renathal you'll now always have to consider do i want 40 health points do i want 40 cards what is the best way to put this deck together maybe 30 cards is better maybe 30 health points is better and it also opens up the design space for cards in the future. Do we see cards that increase the board size? Could there be a card that gives you 50 health points and 50 cards or 20 health points and 20 cards for a very aggressive deck or a fine-tuned combo deck? The possibilities are actually endless here and it wouldn't have been possible without the bold decision made by the Hearthstone team to not only make this card, not only make it, but also to unleash it upon the entire Hearthstone world for free, not even paywalling this card, giving it for free, allowing players to discover the fun, the intricacies, and just the incredible depth that comes with all of a sudden having a 40 card deck that gives you 40 health points.